Well, thank you, and thank you for the introduction. First of all, I would like to thank Nalka Suisut, the government of Greenland, and President Grimson for bringing the Arctic Circle platform to Greenland, where we can promote many of uh, the projects that are present in our beautiful country. Um, we have traveled around in the world, uh, lately also be a participant uh, in Reykjavik last year, but also in Singapore last year, to try to promote many of uh, our projects here in Greenland, to make them available uh, for interested parties to, uh, to look at, uh, to assess, and so forth. I have promised, um, I promised the panel to give them some insights on the most obvious projects that are at hand, that are interested uh, to look at in regards to uh, investing in some of these opportunities. This project that I will be focusing on is a project from the government. It has already been implied directly and indirectly that this is uh, projects that are going forward. I will dig deeper in, into this because it hasn't really been presented in a cohesive way, so you actually have the ability to assess this on your own. This presentation is fairly short. I will uh, try to conclude uh, late in, or, or at the end of the presentation why we think this will be an obvious project to actually invest in uh, from different entities. The status of the government's infrastructure project is that in December 2015, uh, the government, uh, sorry, uh, the parliament granted the government um, the mandate to go forward with these five airport projects that has been mentioned already. And in April this year, uh, the government um, submitted their proposal for the actual process that also includes uh, the possibility of financing these through PPP. That's public-private partnerships. As of now, the committee hasn't given uh, their approval uh, yet, but we uh, think that uh, this will go um, uh, through in a fairly short time. When we look at the plan and the structure that the government has put forward on these projects, the, the plan is to form a company, uh, a new infrastructure company that will be tasked to start the projects with Iluliset, Nuuk, and Aalto airports. That company will also be tasked to explore the different models for the projects, and that will also include uh, the possibility of public-private partnerships. The government will also, on their own, as far as I uh, understand it, uh, on a parallel track, uh, finance two other airport projects on the East Coast, that's in Itokotomi and the Sila. These has also been mentioned earlier, yesterday. But when we look at the timeline, it's fairly challenging timeline that has been put forward because we know, at least in our country, that the Premier has promoted at least uh, the project in Raorto to be uh, started up uh, already this fall. It was, uh, it was a fairly optimistic but not impossible uh, view to start these projects up with such a short notice. But as uh, we know today, most of the preliminary engineering works hasn't been started. So instead of the original plan to uh, have the first airport project in service in 2018, we are now looking at uh, the project uh, to be finalized in 2019 or maybe in 2020, as we understand it. Why is this interesting for external parties to look at as an investment opportunity when the government is forming a company to start these projects? I will go into that now. 
it is tied to the combined depth picture of, uh, of the, the government, the public economy, because when you look at it, the government of Greenland also owns a lot of uh, the major companies here. And all that debt, the combined debt, is pulled together and has to be calculated in, in the combined debt picture. The net depth in end of 2014 was approximately 1.9 billion. And when you look at some of the projects that are already going forward, you would look at the end of 2018 with a, a combined depth of 3.6 billion Danish kroner. That including the new ships for Royal Arctic Line, uh, Sikuki Harbor, and other planned minor activities. The loan agreement that the government has with the Nordic Investment Bank uh, puts the loan ceiling up to a combined debt of both the public economy but also the private uh, companies that the government owns. So a combined debt of maximum 4.9 billion. That gives uh, a maneuver room uh, on 1.3 billion. And um, this is also the case when you look at uh, how it is uh, uh, viewed on in regards to the government's own uh, strategy on how to adopt loans and, uh, and debt. The planned activities weigh heavily on the combined public debt. Extension of the subsea data cable northwards has to be calculated into that. That wasn't included in the previous numbers. When we're looking at the preliminary numbers for Nuuk and Illudis set, it exceeds the maneuver room for the government to adopt uh, new debt to realize these projects. But also, when you're looking at also Rautok Airport, the estimated value of that project, the extension of the hydropower plant at Rotlodosok down South Greenland, then you have to calculate in cost for renovating schools and institutions for at least the next five to ten years. The government's plans on uh, investing in or paying for visitor centers, uh, different places in the regions to accommodate the new uh, tourism streams that will come in. So when you calculate all these things in, it's fairly easy to see that uh, the depth ceiling is easily reached by some of the projects alone. And when the government is pushing five new airport projects uh, forward, it is a challenge for the government to do this on their own. And that's why that in our minds, it's, uh, it's fairly easy to see how uh, the next couple of, uh, of, uh, of months and will go in regards to uh, attract um, uh, interested entities in, uh, in, in regards to providing the, the needed uh, investments for realizing these projects. So in our view, uh, the public-private partnerships uh, is a solution. It's the obvious solution for realizing the, uh, the strategy of the government uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to secure the new infrastructure ahead that has been planned and has been put forward into motion. So this was uh, a fairly short introduction to the most obvious projects that could be interesting for various entities to invest in. So this was just a, a, a way to, uh, to give more insights to uh, some of the gentlemen in the panel to, uh, to see if, uh, if there could be some interest in, in this area. Thank you very much.